Hello guys, welcome back to Math with Diego. Today we will be tackling three order of operation problems, each getting more and more difficult. So stick around to the end so that you can be ready to ace your exam. If you've never heard of PEMDAS, PEMDAS is a way that we solve order of operations. PEMDAS is like a map, like a guide. Whenever you go on a road trip, you know how you put the maps on your phone and it tells you exactly where to go? Same thing with PEMDAS. PEMDAS is going to tell us exactly where to turn, where to get off, and it's gonna lead us to our destination, which is the right answer. So the P stands for parentheses or brackets. E stands for exponents, M multiplication, D division, A addition, S subtraction. Whichever of these operations comes first, that is what we are going to do. So for example, we have to ask ourselves, do we have any parentheses or brackets in the problem? Well, let's see. We have brackets and we have parentheses. So we identify our brackets and inside our brackets, we have parentheses. So we are going to multiply five times two. Why? Because that is what is inside the parentheses. So five times two is 10. And what we're gonna do so that we won't get lost is write everything down. We're gonna bring everything down. Now that we brought everything down, we're going to go back to our map. After every step, we go back to our map. And also, the reason why I didn't bring down these parentheses is because we already did what was inside it, so we no longer have to bring it down. So, we go back to our map. Do we have parentheses or brackets? We have brackets. Therefore, we have to do whatever is inside the brackets first. Inside our brackets, we have subtraction and division. Which one should we do first? Well, let's look at our map. Which one comes first? Division comes first. So that is what we will do. So 20 divided by 10 is two. And just like before, we bring everything down. Now we look back at our map. Same thing, do we have any parentheses or brackets? Yes, we do. So we do whatever is inside the brackets. So 30 minus two is 28. We bring down the multiplication sign. We bring down the two. And what do we get? We get 56. So our answer will be D. So before we go on to the next problem, just a quick review. We follow our map after every single step. We bring all the operations down so that we won't miss anything. We want to make sure we get every single number and operation written down. For this next problem, we will do the exact same thing. So we have to look at our map. Do we have any parentheses or brackets? We have both. We have our brackets and within our brackets, we have our parentheses. Therefore, we have to do what is inside the parentheses first. Why? Because that is the order of operations. So seven plus five is 12 and we bring everything down. Now that we did that, we look back at our steps. We ask ourselves, do we have any brackets or parentheses? We do have brackets. So we have to do whatever is inside the brackets first. So now we have addition and division. Which one should we do first? What is the color map? Which one comes first? Division comes first. Therefore, we are going to divide 12 divided by three, which is four. And once again, bring everything down. We look back at our steps. Do we have any parentheses or brackets? Yes, we do. Three plus four is seven. We don't have to bring the brackets down anymore because we already did what was inside it. But now we have two numbers next to each other without a symbol. This is key. Whenever this happens, you multiply those two numbers. So it'll be 10 times seven is 70. So the answer to this problem is going to be D. Before we do this last problem, if you're enjoying the videos and you love learning math, please go ahead, like, subscribe, and share this video so that many other students across the world can also learn just like you. So now back to the problem. Again, we have to follow our map. If we don't follow our map, we will get lost and we will not arrive to our destination. So P, do we have any parentheses or brackets? In this case, we have two parentheses. So 
you may be asking, so which one should I do first? Well, whenever you do PEMDAS, it's like reading a book. You go from left to right, whichever comes first. Another way to remember it is first come, first serve. So this parenthesis came first, so that is what we will do first. So 25 plus 19, let's go ahead and figure that out. 9 plus 5 is 14. 2, 3, 4. 25 plus 19 is 44. We're going to write that right here and bring everything down. You guys already know. Now that we brought everything down, if you notice, there's something interesting here. So we did 25 plus 19 is 44. We no longer have to bring the parentheses down because there's nothing left to do inside the parentheses. But now I have the number 3 and the number 44 next to each other without a symbol. So what should I do? I should put a multiplication sign in that space because that is what we have to do. Anytime you have two numbers next to each other without a sign, you automatically multiply them. But before we multiply them, we have to see if that is what the map is telling us to do. So now, do we have any parentheses? We do, but there's nothing left to do inside the parentheses. We can get rid of them and now we're going to have the same issue. We're going to have the 3 next to the 4 without a sign, but what should we do? Exactly. We should put a multiplication sign in that gap because that is what we have to do. Now that we did that, we still have to go back to our map. We don't have parentheses anymore or brackets. We don't have exponents. We do have multiplication. We have two multiplication. We have to multiply 3 times 44 and 4 times 3. But which one should we do first? First come, first serve. From left to right, this multiplication comes first. So we're going to do 44 times 3. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 3 is 12 plus 1 is 13. And we're going to bring everything down. Now we have 132 plus 4 times 3. Which one should I do first? Should I do addition first or multiplication? Well, we have to look at our map. We don't have any more parentheses. We don't have any more exponents. Do we have multiplication? Yes, we do. Therefore, that is what we should do first. So 4 times 3 is 12. Bring the plus sign down. Bring 132 down. All that is left to do is add. And 132 plus 12 is 144. So our answer will be B. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead, like, subscribe, and share. If you would like to keep learning, check out this video or this video. But before you go, always remember that you are smart, you are loved, and you can do it. Until next time.